Hello guys, if you are planning to give UiPath Advanced Certification Exam or UiPath Associate Certification Exam, I am going to guide you step by step to book your UiPath exam. This will remain a simple process and a straightforward process I am going to guide you. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. Go to your browser and type UiPath Academy. On your Google search, you will find UiPath Academy. This is the official website for the certification. We will launch it. This is the home page of UiPath Academy. Here you have the option for certification. Click on this option. As of now, there are two kinds of certification. The first one is UiPath Certified RPA Associate or popularly known as UIRPA. The second and the highest level of certification available now is UiPath Certified Advanced RPA Developer or popularly known as UIARD. If you are a beginner and do not have enough experience on UiPath, you may start with UIRPA exam. If you have more than six months of working experience in developing RPA solution, then UiPath recommends you to go for the Advanced RPA Developer or the UIARD certification. Both these exams have exam description document. If you scroll down, here also you have the exam description document. Let me click on this to show you what is there inside this document. This document contains your exam topics. You can spend little time to go through this document to ensure you have got a complete understanding about this exam from this specific document. UiPath also offers you to take a free online practice test. Please do click on this link and ensure at least you give two to three times of practice test. This is to ensure that you get aligned with the exam pattern and also you get a bit of confidence before appearing the real exam. But remember, none of the questions is going to appear from this practice test. But this is very important for everybody to go through the practice test. Now our main agenda was to schedule the exam. So I am going to click on schedule your exam. Once you click on that link, this is the page you are going to land. On this page, you get to see the duration of the exam which is 90 minutes for the UIRPA or the associate level exam and the cost will be around $150 plus taxes. For the advanced RPA developer or the UIARD exam, the exam duration is 120 minutes which is nothing but 2 hours and it is going to cost you $200 plus taxes. Both of this also has the exam description and the practice test which I spoke in the previous page. These are the same things. Now look at the right hand side screen. This is the place where you have the option to schedule, reschedule or cancel your exam. For that you need to sign in. In case you are very new to Pearson Wu and you do not have an account, then you have to click on create account and sign in. These are couple of Pearson Wu privacy policies which you have to agree. Now on this page, you have to enter all the basic details about yourself. So you can easily go through this page and create an account for yourself. I already have an account, so let me go back. If you already have an account, then you have to click on sign in. Enter your username and password and hit on sign in. Once you have successfully signed in, this is the page you are going to see. In case you do not remember your username or password, the previous page had an option to reset your username or password in case you do not remember. On this page, you have the option schedule an exam. You have the UiPath Advanced RPA Developer exam and the other one is in Japanese language and the first one is in English language. And same way, the RPA Associate exam which appears for me and then there is also Japanese way. So I would go for let's say advanced. I'm going to click on this link. 
here you have got two different options would you like to give the exam at a test center or would you like to give it from your home or office now you might have a question rakesh which one would be the best again this is an individual choice based on his or her situation if i given a chance i would go for a test center but again if situation doesn't permit giving the exam from home is also a good option let's say i want to prefer a test center i am going to click on the test center button here remember in the test center they will ask you to provide your government issued id so ensure you go with a id proof from here things are very self explanatory all you have to do is hit on next and go through the instructions shown you on the page as i have already given the exam this page will not allow me to bypass through this because it's going to detect i have already given the exam don't worry this is a self explanatory window all you have to do is hit on next and read the instruction choose your center and then submit it is going to guide you through the through the entire process anybody once you see the page will be able to do it if anybody would like to go for online or at my home or office if you would like to give it from your home and office so here also there are a couple of instructions you need to go through it and hit on next and complete the web page you can see on my screen it tells me ui bath policy does not allow a previously passed exam to be taken again this candidate has already passed this exam so as i have cleared the exam it won't allow me to go through the page but do not worry as i said they are pretty simple just hit on the next and read the instructions and follow them you will receive an email remember to enter everything very slowly mindfully and you do not make a mistake so i could guide you until here but all the best i am sure you will be able to complete the rest set of pages and schedule your exam now to help you to prepare for your exam i have created a playlist go to my channel and click on the playlist look for ui path advanced certification playlist which has got 73 videos go through all these videos there are many people who have already cleared the exam i have guided you step by step how do you prepare for your exam what are the contents docs.uipath.com what are the different areas you have to look at so those 73 videos are pretty useful for many people around the world you can see on my screen how many people have written it to me and how they have cleared their exam so all the best i am pretty sure if you have genuinely prepared for the exam you are going to clear it not to worry go for it schedule your exam and let me know in case you have any kind of difficulties while scheduling your exam thank you guys for watching this we are going to meet in our next content